Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calunso, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration this Sunday, we go to our Lord Jesus as our Good Shepherd. As a shepherd, He looks at us, His sheep, His flock, so that he could take care of all our needs. And so in this Mass, let us entrust to our Good Shepherd our worries, our anxieties, our petitions, because we know that He is a Good Shepherd to all of us. And so to prepare ourselves to encounter our Good Shepherd in this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask Him for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, You have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, God in, in the, the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, 
we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that, made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Woe to the shepherds who mislead and scatter the flock of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, against the shepherds who shepherd my people. You have scattered my sheep and driven them away. You have not cared for them, but I will take care to punish your evil deeds. I myself will gather the remnants of my flock from all the lands to which I have driven them and bring them back to their meadow. There they shall increase and multiply. I will appoint shepherds for them who will shepherd them so that they need no longer fear and tremble and none shall be missing, says the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord our justice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, 
In Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have become near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, he who made both one and broke down the dividing wall of enmity through his flesh, abolishing the law with its commandments and legal claims that he might create in himself one new person in place of the two, thus establishing peace and might reconcile both with God in one body through the cross, putting that enmity to death by it. He came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near, for through him we both have access in one spirit to the Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. This Sunday, you may have noticed that since the first reading, as we have begun the liturgy of the Word, you have been hearing the word shepherd. Simula pa lang po ng mga pagbasa natin, mapapansin po ninyo na ang tema ng ating mga pagbasa ngayong linggo na ito mula sa Biblia ay ang pagiging pastol ng Diyos. But today also, my dear brothers and sisters, you will also notice that the focus of our readings is not just about who the Good Shepherd is, but you will notice that in our readings today, the focus also is the shepherd 
looking at his sheep. Mapapansin po natin na hindi lamang po tungkol sa pastol ang mga pagbasa natin ngayong araw, kundi ito ay tungkol sa pastol na tinitingnan ang kanyang kawan, ang kanyang mga tupa. Sapagkat ang mabuting pastol ay laging nakatingin sa kanyang mga tupa nagbabantay sa kanyang kawan ano kaya ang kondisyon nila ano kaya ang pinagdaraanan ng aking kawan nakakakain ba sila maayos ba ang kanilang katawan at kalusugan sila ba ay hindi nawawala and so today my dear brothers and sisters the Lord reminds us that as a good shepherd, He is looking at us. He is looking at our condition. And today also, let us try to do that. In this celebration of the Mass, let us try to ask ourselves, how are we the sheep of the Good Shepherd. Sana po, sa pagdiriwang natin ng misa na ito, ay tanungin din po natin at tingnan ang ating mga sarili sa tulong ng ating mabuting pastol. Kamusta kaya tayo? Kumusta ang kondisyon natin bilang mga kawan ni Jesus, ang mabuting pastol? Siguro po ay uh, mayroong mga nagsisimba sa labas na mga minsan napadaan lang kayo, no? nagbabike, napadaan dito at naririnig ninyo may misa, nakikita niyo yung screen sa labas. Sa pagtigil ninyo sa banal na misa na ito, tingnan, tingnan ng sarili, ito ang pagkakataon ang isang oras na pagsisimba natin, ito ang oras para tingnan muli ang sarili. Kamusta kaya ang aking kalagayan ngayon? Baka naghahanap ka lang sa Facebook at tumitingin ka ng iyong newsfeed. Baka nadaanan mo lang ang Manila Cathedral page at nanood ka ng misa na ito. Huwag ka munang umalis. Ito ang pagkakataon na tinitingnan tayo ng Diyos. Ano ba ang kondisyon natin? Kamusta ang kalagayan natin? In our first reading today from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, we see here the good shepherd, the shepherd from God looking at the condition of the sheep, the Lord said, I will appoint a shepherd for my people because they are afraid, they are trembling in fear, they are missing, they are scattered. And so God said, I will send a shepherd to them because my sheep, my flock, are scattered and missing. They are afraid. They are trembling in fear. Therefore, I will appoint a shepherd to them so that this shepherd could feed them, could guide them, could take them back to the flock. Sabi ng Panginoon, napansin niya na ang mga tao ay missing and scattered, kalat-kalat, nawawala, naliligaw. Kaya sabi ng Panginoon, ah, kailangan nila ng pastol para muli silang dalhin sa maayos na daan. 
Do you feel also like this at this moment? Do we feel scattered and missing? Especially in our time that we have been through many things in this pandemic for going two years now. Do we feel also like the sheep scattered and missing? Pakiramdam ba natin ay kalat? Meron tayong salita sa Tagalog, no? Pakiramdam ko, kalat ako ngayon. Ano nga ba ibig sabihin kapag sinabi mong kalat ka? No? Parang magulo ang pag-iisip mo. Magulo ang buhay mo. Siguro po meron sa inyo dito ang mga uh, nanay na marami ang ginagawa ngayon. No? Ang mga nanay ngayon minsan, hindi lang nanay sa tahanan. Alam ko, teacher na rin kayo madalas. No? <laughs> Dahil ang mga bata ay nag-online class. So, nanay na kayo, teacher pa kayo, yung ibang mga nanay, nag-online selling pa, pandagdag sa kita dahil sa hirap ng buhay. So, nanay, teacher, online seller na rin kayo, may mga vlogger pa na nanay na kumakanta, minsan sumasayaw pa sa, sa Facebook at kung saan-saan. Ano? Minsan kalat na, no? Minsan di mo alam kung nanay ka ba, baka ang trato mo sa mga customer mo ay anak, ang trato mo sa anak mo ay customer. <laughs> Minsan nag-wedding interview ako, ang tawag sa akin, no? may tanong ako sa wedding interview, ang sagot sa akin ay, Yes, Doc. No? Yes, Doc. O yes, Sir. Ang tawag sa akin. No? Sabi niya, Father, sorry, nalilito na ako. Sino bang kausap ko? No? Akala ko, doktor pa kausap ko. Akala ko, customer pa ang kausap ko. Madalas, mga kapatid, parang kalat. Our minds are scattered because of what we are undergoing right now. If you feel that your life is scattered at the moment, your life is missing, and you feel that you have no direction at the moment, perhaps you need a shepherd. To guide you. This is the right time that you go back to God and say, I need a shepherd. I need you, Jesus, my good shepherd, to guide me in this confusing, in this scattered and difficult world that we are living in right now. I am doing a lot. I am doing everything for my family. But I feel I am scattered right now. I need a shepherd to guide me. In our gospel reading today, we also see the condition of the people who are coming to Jesus going to Jesus with different needs. They are in need of healing. Many are sick. They go to Jesus for healing. Many are hungry. They do not have food. They go to Jesus. Many are sinners. They need forgiveness. They go to Jesus. And so when Jesus saw them, according to the gospel, his heart was moved with pity for them because they are like sheep without a shepherd. And so as a shepherd, Jesus began to teach them, to give attention to them, to give what they need. My dear brothers and sisters, the condition of the sheep is that they are in need. And the sheep goes to the shepherd when they are in need. Are we also in need right now? What do we need 
right now. We go to our shepherd. Whenever we are in need, we go to Jesus, our good shepherd. In this Mass, please try to identify and ask ourselves, what do I need right now? This is the time in this celebration of the Mass when we go to Jesus and tell Him, our Good Shepherd, Lord, my Good Shepherd, I am in need. And these are my needs. Tuwing nagmimisa po tayo, ito po ang pagkakataon na lumalapit tayo kay Jesus na ating mabuting pastol at sinasabi natin sa Kanya, ano ba ang mga pangangailangan ko? Ako po ay miyembro ng inyong kawan, ng inyong tupa, at ito po ang pangangailangan ko. When you feel that you are in need, perhaps you need Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Alam niyo po, sa panahon po natin ngayon ay iba-iba ang mga pangangailangan natin at marami pang lumalabas na mga iba't ibang pangangailangan ng tao. Napapansin ko po ngayon dahil pinayagan po na lumabas ang mga bata ay naisasama nyo na nakakapamasyal, nakakapagsimba rin ang mga bata. Alam nyo po, noong isang araw lamang ay pumunta ako sa bahay ng isang kaibigan ko. Huli kong nakita ang kanilang pamilya last year pa. Yung anak nila na dati ay bibo, napakasigla at hindi mahiyain sa mga tao, napakadaldal. After one year, nang hindi lumalabas sa tahanan, pagpunta ko doon sa bahay, naku, hindi na ako kinakausap ng bata. Takot na sa tao. Hindi na marunong makipag-usap sa tao at nahihiya ng lumapit, nakatingin lang sa computer. Kaya naisip ko, let us also be sensitive to the needs of the children. Maybe we are giving them a lot of distractions, watching TV, playing with their tablets and computers, but they are missing human interaction. And many of them are growing up. They are afraid of human interaction. How can we address these needs? Let us go to Jesus, the Good Shepherd, and present to Him the needs, especially of children, of young people. If you are watching right now in this Mass, if you are a young person, kung ikaw ay nanonood ng misa na ito at ikaw ay isang kabataan, kapag pakiramdam mo, ganyan ka na, nakihiya ka na, hindi ka na marunong makipag-usap sa mga tao, parang may pangangailangan ka, ito ang panahon para lumapit ka kay Jesus. Kailangan mo ng pastol. You need a shepherd to guide you, to teach you, and to provide you with your needs. And so in this Mass, we come to Jesus our Good Shepherd. And as our second reading tells us today from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, those who are far off, you who were far off through Jesus Christ has now an access to the Father and the Spirit and you can come near to God even if you once were far off. Sabi ni San Pablo sa ating ikalawang pagbasa, nalayo ka man sa Diyos, 
na layu ka man sa ating Ama sa pamamagitan ni Jesus na ating mabuting pastol, nilalapit kanyang muli sa Diyos. At nalayo ka man sa pamamagitan ni Jesus, sa paglapit natin sa Kanya, ay muli ibinabalik niya tayo sa biyaya, sa kapayapaan, sa mga pagbabasbas ng ating Ama sa langit. In this Mass, my dear brothers and sisters, let us look at ourselves. Jesus, our Shepherd, is looking at us. What is my condition? Kamusta ba ako? Am I a sheep who is missing? A sheep that is scattered? Am I a sheep who is in need? In need of forgiveness? In need of healing? Am I a sheep who is unsure? Who is afraid? Who is trembling in fear? Whenever we feel that that is our condition, you need a shepherd. We need Jesus. Let us come to this Eucharist and tell Jesus, Lord, you are my shepherd. I need you. And I know that whatever I need, you will provide because you are my shepherd. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The heart of Jesus goes out to His flock on earth. In the name of the Good Shepherd, let us ask the Father to fulfill our needs. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the pastors of the church, that they may never let the flock of Christ be scattered, but gather it together in His name. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with passing on the doctrine of the church, that they may nourish us with truth and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the teachers of our children, that they may impart knowledge and truth with conviction and responsibility. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those at this time who are on retreat, that they may come away and rest for a while in the silent peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, that the blood of Christ may win them eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and needs. We also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. 
In silence, let us bring all of them to the Lord. Father of the flock, hear the prayers of your people gathered at the banquet you have prepared and ready to offer the sacrifice of your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank everyone who have joined us in this celebration of the Mass, those who are staying outside of the church, those who have taken time to come here personally in this cathedral. Alam po namin na marami po sa inyo ay galing pa sa iba't ibang mga lugar, kaya nagpapasalamat po kami sa pagbibigay nyo at paglalaanin nyo ng oras 
para makapagsimba sa ating katedral at makapagsama-sama tayo ngayong araw ng linggo. And we also continue to thank all those who are following us online in our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, those who are watching uh, all over the country and also from abroad, other communities, Filipino communities, and also non-Filipino communities who are following the Manila Cathedral page and our online masses. We thank you for your continued support and uh, we ask for your prayers that we could continue this online ministry and mission so that we could uh, reach out to many other people and preach the Word of God to them. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you now and forever. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds now and forever. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace now and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.